for the pilot in the F-35, the most fascinating part is wearing this helmet. All the information we need to fly is presented on the screen in front of the pilot's eyes. But we also feed in imagery from cameras that are embedded in the skin of the airplane. It allows us to see underneath us as if the airplane wasn't even there. It's absolutely astonishing to have this capability for the pilot in the F-35. Day two for Army Recognition editorial team at DSCI 2017, the International Defence and Security Exhibition in London, UK. Today we will focus to the foreign exhibition with latest innovation and technology presented at the event. There is more than 1,600 companies from all over the world. Nimmer Automotive is a specialized um, armored vehicle uh, company. Uh, we develop a 4x4, 6x6 platforms, uh, including the, uh, the latest uh, JACE platform, which is of a Super MRAP category. The ambulance that we have behind us is a, a, a battlefield trauma ambulance. It's fully equipped for the battlefield and to have uh, a trauma uh, operations uh, within the ambulance itself. It's highly protected, uh, built with the latest standards, uh, STANAC standards and NATO standards. Uh, the ambulance is currently in service uh, in the UAE Army. The commonality is uh, between the 4x4 and 6x6 is up to 90%. It helps within the maintenance and the support of these vehicles. Our relationship with VOP is uh, strategic. Well, we've been working on the uh, nativization and winterization of these vehicles. Uh, we have successfully trialed and tested these vehicles recently. Our introduction of the Ajban 440A uh, to the European market have been received very well. Uh, the rapid intervention vehicle has been recently tested and we have more and more vehicles to be proposed uh, to the European customer and Eastern European customer. About the Lily system, the main features that we have here is the, the uncooled uh, thermal imager, direct view day optics, laser range finder, digital magnetic compass and the GPS. So basically we have all the functions to do observation in all weather conditions or during all time of the day and also we can measure targets easily just by pressing one button of the device. We get uh, very precise target coordinates and we are able to send those for example to battery management system etc. Well, the advantages of this product is that it's uh, very capable in all conditions because of the, we have the direct view day optics here combined with the thermal imager. That's one thing. And also this is in very compact package. That is one, one thing. It's easy to carry with you, easy to use for observation. And we have very good connectivity to outside world because it's very important not to have information only inside the device, but to be able to share it to different devices and also to receive information from different devices. And also the energy, energy management is something that we have been uh, focusing quite a lot with this one. We have the energy management system that we can use external power sources and we can harvest energy from basically any power source to external battery. So it gives you basically 24-7 operating hours with very few batteries to carry with you. This is a, another new product that we are presenting here at the DSEI this year. It's a Husky fire control thermal site. It could be in short term described as an intelligent thermal site for heavy weapons. 
So basically we have an uncooled thermal imager and a laser end finder with the ballistic computer. So it's able to calculate the uh, correct aiming dot position by measuring the distance to target. It is very uh, uh, multifunctional in a way of it can be used with the many different kind of heavy weapons, uh, heavy machine guns, grenade machine guns, etc. Well, the main ad advantage is the, it's the intelligent inside, because we can do the calculation. It's not only a thermal site for a weapon, but it can calculate the distance, distance and the target, uh, the aiming dot. And we can also command the intelligent ammunition, for, uh, for example, the air burst ammunition, to tell the ammunition to explode after 200 meters and so on. They are fully designed and manufactured by our company in Finland and in our facilities. So we have, we have very, uh, the, in, the part of the devices are very much uh, in our own hands. All the production, the optics and assembly testing is done by ourselves. We are attending this show together with Vitrix uh, this time in order to display a new product uh, in a 50 caliber. So it's the first time ever that Beretta, in cooperation with, uh, let's say, a sister brand, uh, is presenting a so huge caliber because uh, normally we arrive with the other sister companies like Sacco and Tica to the uh, 338 Lapua Magnum. So this was the largest and powerful caliber we have in our range. Now, thanks to this uh, huge rifle, we are able also to uh, propose, uh, let's say, a complete line of uh, uh, rifles and carbines, uh, not only for uh, military purposes, but also for competition and also for uh, hunting. So let's say that uh, our main target here at the DCI is uh, to focus on the military market, so with Corvus. Corvus is the name of the 50 caliber rifle branded Vitrix with a five round magazine. So it's a rifle able to shoot at the distance of 2,000 meters. Vitrix is a brand new company that joined Beretta, let's say some months ago. So it's a really fresh company and is proposing not only this rifle, but also the other rifles that you can see here display. But this is for the very first time ever that we are displaying a so huge caliber as a Beretta name. The Victrix is a Beretta brand, but it's also a company which is based between Milan and Venice, very close to the Beretta factory. So it's a company that is producing completely in-house, starting from the barrel until the receiver uh, to the actions uh, to uh, to the assembly lines and the final shipping totally in-house this year we are going to launch a new way of mortar warfare we are going to launch the 120 millimeter preform fragmentation mortar bomb easy to summarize security for the user in terms in the vehicle something like by insensitive munition very predictable engagement areas so easy to separate between safety zones and engagement zones so actually it's protection for your own troops point a and point b of course avoidance of unintended civilian collateral damage other features are a new form of preform fragmentation, multidimensional preform fragmentation, so multiple sizes, spheres, poles, different sizes in terms of the weight and as well different materials. All of these features can be adopted according to the target set or the specific target set of the end user and of the customer. Today what you see in front of you is actually the Bronco 3. Uh, it's the third uh, generation of our all-terrain track carrier. 
uh, and uh, the Bronco program has been around for 17 years and we have in total traveled about a million kilometers among all. And uh, this version here is a highly protected, uh, multi-mission capable vehicle uh, with uh, different mission mod modules that you can configure. Uh, and uh, what you see in front of you is the combat support version, which is the Bronco 3 with the 120mm uh, motor. Uh, if you want to reconfigure it for a troop carrier, then the behind cabin is capable of taking up to 10 troops with four in front. So that's the troop carrier version. And of course, you have the flexibility of configuring it, whether it be for sensor, shooter, logistics, ambulance, recovery, and all the different missions. And the beautiful thing about uh, an all-terrain track carrier, or in this case, the Bronco 3, is that due to this high mobility and ability to go to different places, uh, due to the low uh, ground pressure, is able to traverse terrain that most other vehicles would not be able to do so. ARIA stands for Army Individual Eco Lightweight Equipment, which is the acronym for our soldier system. It can encompass four verticals, which stands for protection and clothing system, individual sensors and personal equipment, power and energy management system. The last but not least is actually human augmentation and medical technologies. So in this, I will first go into the enhanced situational awareness, which is actually under the individual sensors and equipments. So it's actually represented by Shades, which is a shielded advanced eyewear system. It's an intelligent heads-up display system projecting augmented reality critical information. This will provide you with critical information for improving your situational awareness. Information includes having optical sensors information and thermal images. It also provides uh, multiple communication channels for interfa uh, interfacing with third-party devices such as our main system. Moving forward, the improved protection and sustainability is through our personal clothing, which is the, represented by our protect system, which is a load-bearing system. It's a lightweight, modular and scalable vest designed for our tropical climax. The use of advanced materials allows it to be lightweight. At the same time, the, the use of laser cut slots that allows it to double as molly straps for our equipment. It's scalable and modular because you can actually put on the different modular carriers for different protection levels.